He's number 43, and he's averaged about 25 yards for kickoff return. Here we go, and we hope you enjoy it. Mr. Harris takes it on the one. 10, 15, 20, 21, and the Cowboys will go from there with Terry Brown downfield to make the tackle. Third down and long. The Vikings have kept the ball for almost nine minutes. And it's third down and 17. They've got to get to the six-yard line for a first down. Carroll Dales to the right, John Gilliam to the left. This is a 44-yard attempt with Krauss holding the ball. Three points for Minnesota. Minnesota breaks on top. 347 remaining in the first quarter. The Vikings kept the ball for almost nine minutes and take the lead three to nothing. Second goal. Foreman. He's got it. Yep. That makes it nine to nothing. In the third quarter, Mike Eyshide boomed a punt 58 yards from his own end zone. But a Dallas rookie named Golden Richards almost inspired the Cowboys to another championship. As a nation of pro football fans looked on, Fran Tarkenton showed the winner's touch. Just three plays after Dallas had scored, Tarkenton retreated and threw the ball just as far as he could. As he had done so often, John Gilliam scored the touchdown which broke the game open. The Cowboys tried everything in their playbook, but the Vikings just kept hammering the ball loose. Bobby Bryant's touchdown finished an almost perfect day for Minnesota. The Vikings won 27 to 10, not just because of Bryant and Gilliam and Tarkenton, but because 40 men had played a team sport about as well as it can be played. And that is how the Minnesota Vikings became champions of the National Football Conference. Now there are 10 seconds left. And the Cowboys say, no, that's it. And the Vikings are the champions of the National Football Conference. Two seconds, one second, it's all over. And 27 to 10 is the final score.